I had an idea this morning. We know that the Milano Corton system affects dopamine in the brain, creating a sense of well-being. That's why when you go to the beach and you lay out in the sun, you feel so wonderful. Well, we also know that one of the melanocortin uh, peptides is bremlenotide, PT-141, that's used for libido and sexual dysfunction. It's used for libido and sexual dysfunction, both injected or intranasally. We're not doing this today for that purpose. The intranasal dose that's been shown clinically to work is around seven and a half milligrams delivered intranasally, and that increases libido. So my theory is that lower doses will just create a sense of well-being. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compound this. I have a fresh intranasal delivery, a clean syringe, a bottle of bacteriostatic sodium chloride solution, and a 10 milligram vial of PT-141. I'm gonna reconstitute it with two milliliters because this pump puts out one-tenth of a milliliter with each squirt. What I wanna be able to do is deliver a half a milligram in a single uh, a pulse so that I can experiment with a half to one milligram and see how I feel. If in fact, I feel an elevation in my mood uh, and my theory about increasing dopamine production in the brain, at, at least without doing actual uh, uh, blood work analysis and so on, my theory may be proven. So we start out with a brand new syringe, pop the top on our sodium chloride solution, and I'm gonna pull two milliliters out. Moving slow. Too slow. There we go. Got to milk it. Oh, I know it's wrong. But that's not screwed on tight. Oh, we're almost there. Okay. So we have exactly two milliliters. We're going to reconstitute the PT-141. I'm going to let it sit for a couple minutes. We're going to put it into the squirt bottle. And then I'm going to try a dose or two. Now, you can use this same approach. If you want to mix PT-141 for sexual dysfunction, it works in both women and men. Uh, intranasally, you have to take a fairly larger dose than you would injectably. But easy to work with. Okay. And really, this is how easy it is to make intranasal delivered peptides. Something's wrong with this. And once I draw it all out of the vial, I'm just going to put it into the nasal spray bottle. And I would keep this in the refrigerator, just like you do all of your reconstituted peptides. You don't have to pay a lot of money for these if you know how to do this stuff yourself at home. I know there's lots of companies selling intranasal delivered PT-141 right now. This vial just came out of a sealed bag. It's sterile. That's it. I'll label it, keep it in the fridge and experiment with it. And I'll report back 
to tell you if it ex experience any increases in uh, quality of mood. Okay, have fun at home.